Hello, welcome to this video. I noticed that the weather today was absolutely great, so I decided to go out quite early in the morning to take advantage of the blue hour and the frozen grass to make some nice shots. The weather is a minus 1 degree Celsius, so I'm absolutely freezing my hands off. And the purpose of this video is to show that it's possible to take good photos in your neighborhood, meaning you don't need to travel to get good results. I also want to show how you can take a photo that you didn't really like at that much at first and turn it into something that's good or something acceptable, something you can be proud of. If you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe for more videos in the future. The first shot of today is this tree. I don't really know if it will work out because the sun is behind it and it, it completely overexposed the image. There is a bit of land flare in the image which I like, to be honest. Um, so let's just see if I can make something nice out of it uh, in post. Uh, at the end of the video I'll also go through the editing process, so uh, I'll explain what I did and why I did some things, so keep watching for that. Another shot I really like is next to the tree. There is this destroyed gate with a, with a little stream of in front of it. And right now I'm trying to frame it well, using the rule of thirds, and I put the focus point on the gate. I'm attuning my settings a bit, um, because the sun is now on the side and not behind the subject, so it's a little bit darker. I really like this one tree in frame. We got quite a unique leading line here, in the form of the fence that leads towards the subject. Also the grass has been cut if you can see that, and you can actually see the same line following the same route as the fence. Right in front of us there is this little bridge, the sun shines right through and it lights the bridge, making it quite an interesting subject to photograph. The emphasis really lies on the bridge, making it look great, thanks to the shadows of course. I'm walking a bit closer to see if I could, could get a nice shot, so I'm going to position myself well. Ooh, this looks nice. Right now I'm framing the image so the tree is also in frame, allowing to make like uh, a nice background piece for the subject. Ooh, this is really nice. I can make something cool of this. It is fun to search for some human-made objects in nature or in the scene. These things could be the subject in a lot of situations. I am shooting with the Fujifilm X-T30 Mark II. I am also using my 15 to 45 mm kit lens. It's nothing impressive, but it's good for a kit lens and it gives me some freedom. There is this little house between the trees. This could be a nice subject. The image is not my favorite of the bunch, but it looked nice on occasion, but disappointed me in the end, but you'll see. Another great subject for street photography or landscape photography are traffic poles. If I position this one well, with a building in the background, it can look really good. Improving your photography doesn't happen with the perfect shots you plan out, but with the daily shots that are average. You have to work with what you have and make it look good. I'm walking on the street right now, and in a moment when I turn around, there could be a nice shot. The trees are, le are leading lines towards the place where the road splits. It could work really nice, but that's something we have to see once the picture is taken. Also be aware of your surroundings. You don't want to get hit by a car. This shot can work, my ISO can go quite down. Let's take a look at this fence with the house in the background. I see my own shadow in frame, which isn't what we want, but if something like this happens, it doesn't really matter that much, because the post-processing in Lightroom makes it incredibly easy to fix those types of issues. Okay, welcome in the studio. Um, right now I'm going to talk a bit about the post-processing that I did, and um, I'm going to go through it, tell you what I did, um, some changes I made, presets I used, so uh, let's get into it. So okay, for the first picture, um, I started off. I always start off with um, going to my masks. Um, in the masks, I started with um, the first mask was a bit to um, if we show what it did was to decrease the exposure of the sun a bit. We couldn't overdo it because if you do that, I mean you see it, it looks it looks it looks bad. Then uh, mask two is a linear mask from right down to the middle. Um, what I did here was like lower the exposure a bit, making the foreground a little darker, so the, the subject pops a bit more. Then on mask 3 is uh, a mask I use like a lot. It's um, a linear mask downward, so I can 
low the exposure of the sky because the sky is usually overexposed so it still looks nice um, then other than that I went down to the normal exposure changed a bit with played a bit with the highlights the contrast the exposure uh, the, the shadows everything and then I usually use a preset that I have um, I have a list of them neutral is the one I use makes them look quite nice if you don't have presets you can always go to the recommended tab it's like AI generated uh, presets allowing you to get also some nice uh, results sometimes it's not that good but you can play with it and figure out what you like until you get something nice uh, the bridge uh, photo I really like this one uh, I did again the sky gradient um, and from left to right uh, gradient again as well I also selected with a luminance range like that selects every area with around the same luminance and I tweaked that a bit to make it an expose a little under then again you pop your preset or whatever on or no presets at all and then you get the before and after the picture of the, sh the, the, the sheep the goat I don't know where I um, put a mask on the sky and on the, on the ground to say but then I added like again this radial mask from the, the direction of the sun allowing me to simulate a uh, sun rays making more exposed then I made a brush on the goat where I increased the exposure up as well a little bit and I put on the filter that's it was one that I didn't make on camera it's of this creek um, it works the same I put like a, a radial gradient on it so you can simulate the sun rays again put on the filter or the, the, the preset and that's it actually if you want to see a short version of my explanation of this I made some short format content um, link is in the description or you can check it here so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time got something unique planned so look forward for that mm -hmm.